Edith Quaggan is joining us here, an author extraordinaire with her new book, The Magic Tunnel. And uh, Edith, this is uh, a work of love, I think, would you yes. say? Yes. Because it's all set in the Alban, of course, and it's all to do with the Great Laxey Mine Railway. Yes. And uh, the proceeds are going to that. So that's that bit out of the way. Why and how do you get this idea? I was chatting to one of the engine drivers um, a couple of summers ago, and he said, why don't we write our own book? Um, we could call it the Magic Tunnel, <laughs> and we could have the trains go back in time. And I thought, that's a good idea. <laughs> and it, like Topsy, it just grew. <laughs> Well, we've got some shots. Well, I think it was, what, well, Hopchene when I was down there one year, mm -hmm. so let's run that, which is obviously when it's all a bit more spooky. Yes. But a great little little asset that probably not many people know about really still. Well, that's what I'm hoping, that um, producing the book will raise money for the railway, but it will also put it more in the um, eye of the public. Now, this has been done beautifully with illustrations. Did you do these yourself? Yes. Fantastic. And it's bilingual. Yes, it was James Harrison of Culture Vannon who translated it into Manx and Culture Vannon have provided the money for the printing of the book. So what age range is it? I'd say at? probably about four years to eight years. It's suitable, suitable for boys and girls because B is the female and Ant is the male. <laughs> the <name laughs> they, have the they have characters right. <laughs> and they talk to one another. Um, where are you going to go from here? Will there be an, another one? A, a whole series? Is I have written the next one. Have you? <laughs> but I need to see how this sells. Yeah. Um, and if it does sell well, yes, there will be one, and it'll be about Hop Tune. Ah. Where do people get hold of this book? Um, well, the book launch is next Saturday, 10th of March, at the Lexicon from 11 till 12. Of course, they're um, buying it, but all the good bookshops on the island, and it can be bought online. In fact, this morning, it's even on Amazon. I was quite surprised. Fantastic. And as you said, the proceeds are going to the, the Great Laxey Mine Railway. Yes. That needs a fair bit of money, does it, each year to keep ticking over? Oh, it's, it's horrendous. I mean, even the public liability insurance is massive. They're just relaying some of the track. Um, they've had trouble with the boiler of uh, B, who's been laid up all summer. So, I mean, it, it's, it's just an and empty... Whole. Yeah. <laughs> it and it's all volunteers, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes, none of us get paid. When is it, well, I mean, besides other things that hop today, you run in the summer, do you have a, you know, a regular weekend timetable, that sort of thing? Yes, it's open from um, 11 till 4.30 in the summer on a Saturday, and occasionally on a Sunday. And then, of course, we have our big hop mm. um three days at the end of the uh, October. And if people want to volunteer to help? You... Oh, we'd love them to come How back. How do they get in touch? Um, well, they can phone um, Ian Smith, or he's the um, right. one of the directors, mm -hmm. or my husband, 624007. Mm -hmm. And yes, we'd welcome. And we actually do the gardens as well, so we'd welcome a gardener even. Okay. And you don't have to have any skills. <laughs> if you have got a skill, fine. <laughs> but if you just want to work, good with paintbrush. <laughs> Let me hold this up again. This is the book, The Magic Tunnel in English and Manx, available, as I say, for all good book stockists right now and on Amazon. Five ninety nine. How much? Five ninety nine. Five nine bargain. <laughs> and all the profits there going to help the railway. Thanks for coming in. Right. Thank you.